My name is Jimmy, his name is Jake, and this is The Weekly Dumb. Jake, how goes it? Jimmy, happy July to you. Can you believe it? It seems like yesterday it was June. Um, Summer is rolling. No 4th of July plans, which has me a little like... Mm but I'm okay. Er, Thursday, odd day for 4th of July. Er, The sports, to the sports we go. Jim, big day in sports. It's Otani for clicks, but actually, how to save a life. Uh, He gets saved by the ball boy. There goes my hero. Little... He's Joe's McFly. That's funny. It just proves that anyone can do it. You know, I think this ball boy is very lucky that Otani was behind him because I don't think he was trying to save Otani's life. I think he was trying to save his own life. Yeah. Even if no one was behind him, I think he's <gasps> just so happens Otani's behind him. So now he is Japan's hero. Oh, okay. That's awesome. Like, oh no, yeah, no, I was saving Otani's life. I didn't want him to get hurt. Javier Herrera is the ball boy that made the play here. Yeah, Javi Hav. If you remember during the COVID game or the COVID times, the Dodgers had a game where their bat boy played left field. Chico Herrera. Family gig. It's another Herrera, unrelated. Javier Herrera made a highlight nine years ago. It was a low light. He was the ball boy down the line, fell over and ate it. So this was his redemption highlight. Nine years later, he works as a waiter and she doesn't know. The story never changes, just the names and faces like Tommy and Gina. They're living on a prayer. Where'd it go, Jake? It's the most words you've gotten in a row. That was fucking awesome. Who sings that? Some 45? Uh, Bowling for Soup. Yeah. Yeah, Bowling for Soup. I only listen to one band. What was this almost a breakdown? Because there's baseball. Almost a breakdown. It's a play you don't see often in the Pacific Empire League. The Pac-EL, as they say. The Solano Mudcats versus the Lincoln Potters. We need to tell Joe's about this. Yeah. Last name, literally Solano. And he's a Mudcat at heart. Doxed. FBI, open up! The batter's name is Holden Rook. I'd rather not. <laughs> Come on. The two and a half for me. I've been playing a lot of chess, though. Oh. So I've been holding Rook. You know what and I'm saying? catcher in the ride, docks it. <laughs> <laughs> One of the worst characters in book history. Zach, you big Holden Caulfield fan? Who'd you rather spend a day with? Daisy Buchanan or Holden? Daisy Buchanan. Oh, horn dog. Horny. <laughs> horn dog. Whoa. Woo. She kind of gets two men killed. A little bit of a... Oh, my God. Wow. Zach's got a boater. Zach's got a boater. Okay. <laughs> All right. Holden Rook, his district championship, uh, won a district championship in football for College Park High School. 94 receiving yards, two touchdowns. I also went down a rabbit hole. Anyway, hits a ball. It goes up in the air. Has so much backspin on it that it comes back and hits him in the head. And then the third baseman catches the ricochet and they all celebrate out, out, out. There's zero chance it's an out. It's either an out because it hit the batter while he was out of the batter's box or it's a foul ball because it hit the batter while he's in the batter's box. But I like that the third baseman and the fielders get to celebrate. The umpires in the full video that I went back and watched, they had no idea what was going on. Both coaches had no idea what was going on and they're just like, out, I guess. It's 11 nothing, and like, let's just end this. I believe... He was out. He goes out of the batter's box and then he comes back in and it hits him. So I was interested in the rule there. Are you allowed to leave, come back in and it hits you? But I think his right foot is still out of the box when he gets hit in the head. Speaking of sports, guts. Do you have it? Do you have it? Go watch guts. Watching, we watch guts. Playing guts. Season five just started yesterday and we think we finally found some nice rules. Interested to see how the fans think. Jim, we have... An MLS crazy game-winning highlight. 97th 97th minute. Soccer, I love you, but that's even a little bit comical. So, TRA, the player, takes a sip of water. The whole Toronto team is leaving. Like, all the defenders, they kind of turn their head back and look, but no one catches that this guy's hiding. Someone needs to take, like, a nature documentary when a, a lion's hunting its prey and put it as the background music when he's just walking behind the keeper, slowly eyeing him down. And the, like, how is the stadium not going like, oh, right. kind of, everyone should have had a bigger reaction. Well, I think what's about to happen is when he drops that ball and if he kicks it, I think the whistle blows. Like, we were at that point of the game, that the game's literally over so if he, he just boots it high in the air never puts it on the ground game, game over instead he rolls it oh man it's so crazy but you know atlanta's been waiting for a goal like this the article said yeah what was that about a second fan said the craziest game winner you will ever see and a team like atlanta they deserve to break like this so i need to know more context we agree speaking of crazy this canadian not sports you were telling me about well i should have just said it's canadian and you would have known it's not sports <laughs> 
Shout out the Oilers. We're cold. Most of the year. Nice up there this time of year. Felix Antoine. Felix Antoine. Antoine Hamill. Felix Antoine Hamill. Three, two, two one, six. zero. I can't comply. Ooh. Doesn't register as a name to me. Well, he ran in a federal election to protest the country's lack of electoral reforms. Mm. So he ran to say we need more reforms okay 84 people were listed as candidates in this election come on he was the only one to receive zero (laughs) votes zero and at first i was like all right and then i realized that not even his best friend his loved ones his campaign manager if he probably didn't have one anyone that helped him print the fly anyone that he said hey should i run yeah he didn't vote for himself is he not allowed well i think that's what he wants right because otherwise he could have cast a ballot for himself so yeah you're thinking he told all his loved ones don't vote for him you have to i wish i didn't i I, if i had come to that realization i wouldn't have chosen that as a story this is his rebel against the man man you want to see unity nobody likes me It's the employee of the week. It's the employees in the same room. Boom, 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 boom. Company had a big announcement recently. The warehouse games are being syndicated on Bally Sports Regional Network. So they, all the reruns of the tournaments that have already happened will be going out on Bally's. And we had to edit out all the swear words for yeah. that. So there was a crew. I'm not sure entirely everyone. Ronnie, Jeff. Rob. Ray, Yandi. Rap, Yandi. We'll ask them who did the most bleeping, and they get the employee of the week. Did you say? Syndicated. I am watching Warehouse Games. It's on Bally's. After the other games, what is this? No more cussing, though. And if you, well, we can cuss in the future. You just, they're just going to get bleeped out. Bleep. And if you're someone that doesn't watch linear cable because you watch YouTube as you are right now, don't worry. Just tell your dad and your grandpa, hey, keep, keep, keep the Arizona game, keep, keep Valley's Arizona on every yes. game. And you'll see my friends in the warehouse. All right, chew paper. Ow. <laughs> that was a weekly dumb. Today's episode is brought to you by Air Play and Cuts. You go to the Jumpy Jimmy Day TV channel and you watch Play, play and Cuts and it's really fun. Oh, oh my God, that was awesome. I knew a guy that used to say Michigan. Who was that? It's a gas station attendant. All of our Mitch watchers, please comment below. Thank you. Or if your name starts with an M. Open it up a little. <laughs> no mics, though. Exclusive. No mics.